she's quite intimidating in that state. You're, <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Priest. Can you take a step? <laughs> I don't interrupt you, but uh, okay, cool. All right. <laughs> can I talk to you about the next scene, please? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know you just did it, but we, just, we need another one. Yes, I have a pinhead. Um, and uh, Jamie, uh, first off, pinhead looks amazing. Uh, and I want to know what that process is like for you, both externally and internally, to become one with pinhead. Wild from, from, <laughs> from start to finish. I mean, I, w- w- the second that I saw the drawings, Keith Thompson, who did mm-hmm. all of the drawings, who David's worked with before, I mean, and I was completely floored. I had no idea how they were going to execute that. And then the Russells at Russell Effects, Josh and Sierra, incredible. Um, and the way that they executed the whole thing, you know, and, and, and once I had the makeup on and the whole thing, I mean, it was, it was a, it was a double-edged sword, you know, getting there mm-hmm. mentally and then also getting there physically. So the suit and the neck and the fit, it all helps me get there physically. But then I have to, you know, David and I had many conversations about, you know, the, the priest's intentions and, you know, what she might be, you know, like thinking or feeling in, 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 any, in any of these different scenes with these different characters. And we, we mm-hmm. talked about them a lot. Um, and so I was able to sort of mentally prepare on the day as going like in through makeup, you know, music was a part of the process. Um, but then once the neck piece goes on, I'm kind of like in it from the minute that I step out of the makeup trailer, I'm, I'm really in it like for the duration of shooting. It's, I'm just like very quiet and I isolate myself mm-hmm. and I really only would talk to David while I was shooting. And then to Sierra, like, like in a corner. <laughs> she's, she's, quite, she's quite intimidating in that state. You're <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Priest. Can you take a step? Forward? I don't interrupt you, but uh, okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Can I talk to you about the next scene, please? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know you just did it, but we just, we need another one. Yeah. I love that. That's amazing. Um, and of course, we have beyond the priest many other Cenobites, both yeah. of new and classic varieties. So, mm-hmm. David, what was that like for you? Um, the process of deciding really what new ones will look like, how to incorporate old ones. It's there's so much you can do in the Hellraiser world. I mean, the the Cenobites as a as as a concept are there's just such incredible movie monsters. I think we really enjoyed uh focusing on their human qualities and thinking about, you know, the human body augmented and how far you can push that in different directions. And that, you know, we tried to give each of them a personality. And that was, um, you know, a combination of the, the the stories as revealed in their designs, but also what each of the actors brought to them. I mean, there is one of the great things about doing practical work is that, you know, you're there on the ground. It's everybody's having an experience together and the limitations that you face become things that you pull from and you use, you know, just the way. Jamie was finding the voice in the throat. It's, um, you know, for some of the other Cenobites, movement was tricky and, you know, and we found ways to use that in strange ways. And, uh, you know, I, I think um, it also, it, it's just it's just a testament to the, the virtues and the pain of working practically. <laughs> Definitely, which is so cool to know that it was practical and to see like, I guess, I guess it, it makes the fear feel more real from yeah. the actors. So that is what's great too. I love that the new film really does call back to the novella, to earlier films, everything. For each of you, what was your favorite aspect of working on it? I think for me, it was seeing all the Cenobites and there's the mm-hmm. one scene when we're all together, like in, in that room, that was a really, really special moment. And then also when we're all placed on the outside of the estate, when we're all staggered out there, like those moments to me are so grand mm-hmm. and, 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 even while I was shooting it, I had no idea like how, and then to see it on the screen, it was like, oh my, this is so good. Yeah. I mean, how is there such a marvelous playground? I mean, it's, there's both the interior and exterior, as you were saying before, like um, it's a reflection of what's going on inside the characters. The Cenobites are there to greet them and tell them to go further um, with their vices, with their designs, with the things that they seek, um, but also at great caution. It's allegorical, it's metaphorical, it's also um, visceral and real. There's a bit of the surreal um, and there's, it's just a wonderful way to explore, you know, human psychology through horror. And I mean, it's just an honor to work on a Hellraiser movie and, 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 and get a shot at that. And it was awesome to see your work. I hope that we're going to get more from the priest and uh, fellow Cenobites. So thank you guys so much.
Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day.